internet friends. Let's address the elephant in the room. There's no video for yesterday, and that's because I did not post one. I did end up injuring myself when I went to the Arboreum. I got lost. I went up into areas that weren't really trails. I was going too fast for what my capabilities are. I'm not super athletic, and I do have a bad leg, and I was aware that I was pushing myself too hard at the time, but I had somewhere I needed to be. And yesterday, I ended up having to recover from that. I injured myself to a point where, I pushed myself to a point where it ended up being worse for my overall goals than beneficial. And if you guys have been watching for a while, you guys know that I do like to, you know, challenge myself and I have done a couple extreme challenges, or at least what I would consider extreme for me. And I usually have quite a few of them going on at one time as well. Like right now, I didn't want to say, but I'm trying to quit nicotine on top of the B-roll and on the weight loss journey. <laughs> so it, it's a little bit much. So because I am used to challenging myself, I am able to recognize when adjustments are needed. I'm finding this overall a really wonderful experience. I'm enjoying so much of it. It is helping. I think my last video was one of the best that I've done for B-roll so far. And it's only been nine videos and I'm seeing really quick improvement. But I think we can slow it down just a little bit. The fact of the matter is, is that I've got my daily duties that I need to do on top of planning, traveling, finding, and shooting the location, and then coming back and editing it, all while never being to these locations before, and like trying to study new techniques when I'm realizing I want to do something else in the video. It, it's just not giving me enough time. And again, I don't want to injure myself again. I haven't been able to walk on the treadmill, you know, for two days now and I do two miles every morning. So I, I'm just pushing myself a little bit too extreme, I think. I do want it to be 30 days, but I don't think the 30 days can be consecutively anymore. I want it to do dailies. I don't think I can do dailies. I think I need to do every other dailies. <laughs> and then also on top of that, because I was sick, I lost my time of that extra day that I had to go back and look at the editing. The Arboreum, I was up until midnight editing and I just had to say what it is is what it is. And then the next day I was like, oh my God, just just tweak this and it would have been fine. <laughs> you would have been a lot happier with it, but I didn't give myself that extra time because the challenge was more important than the end result. And that is not, that is not the takeaway from this. The takeaway is, can I do good if I challenge myself and make adjustments when I see the need to make them? And I do. That's where we're at right now. They still will be 30 days. They will be every other day. I honestly feel really disappointed whenever I don't complete a challenge, which is why I don't like to make them that often. But challenges have a way of like, if you don't complete them, it, it becomes very demotivating for me. And luckily I've done enough of them that I don't feel so demotivated as I used to. I just still feel like, oh man, it's not what I wanted. It wasn't the challenge, but that is fine. I'm more focused on the goal. And I still think that this works within the goal. That being said, I do have blisters on my feet and I have a swollen knee. So I know we are walking right now, but I'm just literally walking to the end of my neighborhood. There's a little creek over here and I'm gonna get a visualization of it for now so that around 7 p.m. when there is a sunset, I can have a better idea of what I wanna record. One of the things I've been wanting to do is record in a sunset or a sunrise. I checked out the sunrise this morning. It just was too dreary. It didn't have the effect I want, but the lighting on those, but the, oh, B, come on, B, stop. Oh my God. Jeez Louise, not in my face, B. But the lighting during those times is supposed to be like the perfect kind of lighting, magical, beautiful, inspirational. I mean, we can all agree sunsets and sunrises are gorgeous. So this is gonna be an easy one for me. I'm hopefully gonna have something good to film. We're gonna check it out right now. I'll hop back here around sunset and hopefully quickly be able to grab a nice little shot. It's also gonna help me plan for what I wanna get as far as drafting it goes, because I have started writing them down to see what we're working with beforehand. So that's what we're doing now. Oh, this is so gorgeous with the leaves and all this lush greenery. I can see that being really gorgeous at sunset. I think right here is a good establishing shot, although not a fan of the house. I don't want to capture people's houses. Maybe right about here for an establishing shot. So I'm going to want to wear shoes with a little bit more grip to them. 
Hmm. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not feeling super inspired by it. I do see fish. I do think that there are a few safe ways for me to get down there and get some close-ups. What do you guys think of an establishing shot where it's a pan up to the sunset? That could be really pretty. We get down in those tall weeds down there, get some close-up views. And I see some dragonflies hanging out around here. If I'm keeping this on slow-mo, I might be able to capture them. I hate that there is garbage in the creek messing up my shot. <laughs> I hate that there's garbage in the creek regardless because litter, but it's also messing up my shot. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like water flowing down there and I really want to get that, but I also do not want to go in there. I do see some people have walked along there, but I'm not, I'm not trying to get in the grass with animals. I'm seeing this trail down and then this trail down. And I just heard movement. Oh yep, and there's good spider webs over here, but and I don't want to disturb them as much as I can. I do like capturing the bridge and the water. So, look at all these spider webs. Do you guys see all these spider webs? I may have to rethink this in all honesty because I just don't know how far down I want to get, especially when it's darker out and there's a possibility for more nighttime creatures to be out. And I will be on my own at this point. I'll have to think on it because I'm not positive what I want to do yet. Man, it would be really cool to have like a time-lapse video though out here, wouldn't it? Like with the sun going down. Yeah, we'll think on that. And even though that's gonna be about eight hours from now, it should be about two seconds for you guys to see. So I'm gonna say that was probably a bust. It is like near eight o'clock and from my viewfinder this whole time, it looked like it was still broad daylight and it is not. And I think where I messed up was that I had it on auto white balance. And yep, I know I've been meaning to play with those settings and I probably should have before today. So luckily I'm giving myself an extra day. I'll try out another sunset tomorrow and test it out playing with my own white balance. Also when I was doing the tower, you can kind of see my breath out here. It is a little chilly now. But when I was at the tower, I noticed in editing that somehow it kept moving around the tower, which the tower is stationary and my camera was stationary. It shouldn't have moved anything. And I think that's due to autofocus. So when vlogging, love auto white balance, love an autofocus, but I'm really gonna have to stop relying on those to get the shots that I want. I knew today wasn't gonna be great. I tried to make the best of it. And with that, I did and I still learned something. So that's good enough for me. And if it's good enough for you guys, tune in the day after tomorrow, and I will see you then. Bye.